So let's create a little bit uh, kind of a more advanced example. <clears throat> again, UTM is very good for tracking, but I want to show you the discount over here. So I'm going to come over here again. I'm going to select the same product. Okay, so we'll come over here. We'll paste this in here. This time we're going to turn on discount. And I mean, it couldn't be any simpler. We have the option to do percentage. We have the option to do fixed amount. And we have the option to use our own coupon code if we had already created one inside of our Shopify admin. We don't need to create one over here because we're going to actually just use an automatically created one by shortly. So how about we do a percentage? We'll do something like how about 25% and we'll now create this uh, link. And you'll see that if you don't enter in anything, I wanted to show this as an example, it's just going to automatically add in some characters over here. Obviously, this is less brandable, but if you don't need the uh, or if you don't want to go ahead and create a link or a link name, it's going to just automatically create one. So I'll copy this one. Go ahead, open up a new window again. I'm going to show you how this one looks. Remember that we said a little different over here. Here is our coupon code. So we have our coupon we have our little incentive over here. Let's say you run an ad that says so, or you have an influencer saying, hey, click on my link for 25 percent off. Here's that coupon code. We can click to copy it and we're going to have all the tracking still preserved just like we would with the other link. But now we have a discount bar enabled on top of here. We could even kind of go back in, uh, show you analytics again. We're going to see this new entry right right over here and we'd see the orders. We'd see any uses of discount codes and things like that.